Syrian civil war has been raging on for years. After all that Syria has gone through, it is comprehensible that Assad's regime is dominating the rebels. In the midst of pandemonium, houses and cities have been devastated to ruins. Among the ashes of these once great cities lay the forgotten memories destroyed by warfare. Communities, families, children, all burned to the ground by hostilities. A nation fighting against itself ended by itself. In spite of all this, the people knew what was happening. And although a life-threatening risk, fleeing their country was the only way. Leaving behind everything they so arduously worked for, all the efforts they had put in, all the time they had invested, their memories, and being separated from their families and friends as well. Among the recurrent waves of refugees exiting Syria, there were many talented and dexterous people that left and had to move on to find their path to a new life. One of these refugees has an exceptional story of persistence, strength, and courageousness. This is a story of resilience and determination, of not giving up despite the situation. Jusra Mardini is a woman that grew up in Damascus, Syria's capital, during hard times. Times in which, despite her country being in war, Mardini relentlessly continued to practice. Focused and assiduously training for her dreams of swimming. As dissension precipitated, Mardini persevered with an acute vision of her goal and practiced even in pools without roofs, tarnished by war. At the same time, Syria was becoming a maniac, an excessively unstable country. As the problems continued and got more complicated, Mardini and her sister Sarah decided that it was time to move and to flee to Germany. They first reached Lebanon, then Turkey, where they had planned to be smuggled to Greece. Although illicit, it was the only path to survival. She and her sister were going to escape by a dinghy with 18 other migrants. The only problem about this was that the dinghy was meant for no more than seven people. The voyage began, but after 30 minutes, the motor stopped functioning. They relived moments of terror because their dream was almost over. The driving impetus for safety had ceased, and the boat began to sink. A lifesaver was drowning in its efforts to transport people. However, with her innate talent and determination, Yusra and her sister jumped out of the sinking dinghy with two other swimmers and propelled themselves through the water for three hours whilst pulling the boat with a rope, a metaphor of the rebels in the war. Three hours in cold, freezing water, chilling their bones in order to save 20 lives. Quite a sacrifice, not only putting your life on the line, but the life of 16 others. After the onerous passage, they reached Lesbos, a small island awaiting their arrival with open hands. After Lesbos, Mardini and her sister traveled to parts of Europe before arriving at Germany, settling in Berlin in 2015. Upon arriving at Berlin, she relentlessly persisted and trained with her coach Sven Spanakrebs from a swimming club in Germany. In June 2016, she was selected for the refugee Olympic team. She later competed at the Rio de Janeiro 2016 Summer Olympics in August. Yusra proves that despite her difficulties, adversity, and situations, your mind has to be focused, your goals and dreams have a place in your heart, and you should never give up. Even with her house being shattered to the ground, practicing in dilapidated pools, fleeing a country through a perilous path, leaving her friends, leaving the country she loved, she endured and fought all the conflicts that were in her way. She's an epitome of success as a migrant. Migrants face challenges such as learning the new country's language, cultural hindrances that are uninviting, and securing houses and services. These are just some of the impediments that she has succeeded in surpassing. She has flourished in an environment that wasn't meant for her, defining what a quintessential refugee can achieve. Her story corroborates that even if we have so much vexatious conditions in our lives, we can persist and be triumphant.